In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to buy a Tesla Model Y for 54 pounds a month. Now, this isn't about buying the cheapest car on the market. You can very easily do that on Auto Trader, sort by lowest and buy that vehicle. Now, what you're looking for is the best value vehicle. And typically you have age of a car, which is, you know, provides an idea on value. So you have, you know, the cars will typically have um, a depreciation rate that'll go like this, really depreciate a lot in the first few years and then kind of level out after that. And you kind of want to find a car that is still new enough. So maybe three or four years old, where you don't really mind driving this car for the next three or four years um, because it has all the technology and features and etc that you need but also you know has already gone through most of the depreciation that it's going to go through throughout its entire life and that can be a bit tricky to find it but we'll go through it in the video oh and before i start please 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 hit that subscribe button it really means the world to me and it motivates me to keep creating amazing content like this the first thing you want to do is you want to find out the, the depreciation uh, curve of a particular vehicle. Now, it's not news to you that most vehicles depreciate the most uh, in the first two to four years of a car's lifespan, but that will change for every single model and that might even not be applicable to some models. So if we look at the Tesla Model Y, um, the depreciation rates for that car is as follows. So I'm looking at the long range version the, the total cost of the vehicle is um, 48,990. Um, it depreciates by um, 11,000 pounds in the first year, and then about four to four and a half to five and a half thousand pounds every single year for the next three years, and then the depreciation rate half. So roughly by the, you know fourth or fifth year of owning that vehicle, um, the depreciation rate has significantly dropped. Now, in this video, I recommend people buying it with a PCP, which um, just means that you have a lower monthly outlay uh, than uh, you would with a, with a higher purchase vehicle or paying it in cash. And I should mention, even though I said it's 54,000 in the title of the video, you're gonna be paying more during the course of owning the vehicle in terms of um, your lease payments, but you get it back when you can actually sell it off, sell, sell the car back to you know the dealership or, or, or a private seller for a lot more than you, you would if you just bought a random version of that vehicle because it's under mile, it has lower miles. Now, what you can, do, what you can see here is that it generally makes sense here in the 2022 year of this vehicle to buy it because that's when after that the depreciation rates significantly drop off and that also kind of aligns with the tesla model 3 i put it in years one to two here as well but generally that's row six in row six that's 2022 the depreciation rates for this for this for this vehicle drops off by quite a bit and you can actually have a car that only loses about two thousand pounds in three years of ownership. The only problem is, is that the Tesla Model Y only started selling in this country in 2022. So that means that we don't really have figures past the fourth year on how much this car depreciates. But, you know, looking at the Tesla Model 3, looking at the depreciation rate at, of that vehicle and also other vehicles as well, it's pretty safe to say that after the four year mark, this car is probably going to do has probably done 80 plus percent of the depreciation it's going to do. So, what do I do? So, I then take a um, I then go on Auto Trader and I'll go with you with you here in this video. I'll share my screen and I look for Tesla Model Ys, which you saw me doing it before, and I make it as specific as possible to what I actually want in the vehicle. So just give an example, there's no point in me picking a high performance version of this Tesla Model Y if what I really care, if what I really want to buy is a long range version, which um, gives me the most um, distance that the car can drive. So I get super specific into um, in, in the actual car that I want. So to make a model, I'll make it the long range vehicle, not the performance vehicle. I'll probably pick a color. I might pick a, 
you know, number of seats, number of doors, it's likely gonna be the same, but just in case you do it for another car that's not the Model Y, I'll pick the engine size. So for example, here, um, it, it doesn't have the engine size, so that's fine. But I think there's something about um, how much acceleration it does or how much the, the power of the engine is. So in this example here, so I'm gonna pick, say for example, from 300 to 400 or so, um, so you have the exact version of that car that you actually want. And what I'm going to then do is then I'm going to take the year 2022. So I want to buy a 2022 year version of this car and I'm going to search the cars. What it will do is that it will spit out 461 results. Now, generally um, what I'd do is I'd go on, on filter and sort and try and figure out, try and spit eyeball a car that has really attractive pricing, but also low mileage. And that's really hard to do. And what I actually started doing is actually just control alting, copying everything, and then I'll take it into Gemini and I'll ask it to create a table for me, very much like this one, just showing three key things, the year to make sure it's 2022, the price, and also the mileage. You can also, also the mileage. And then what I ask it to do is um, so it's going to generate a table for me very much like this I think there's about 24 in this table just to give you an example and then what you want to ask it to do is show you the average price so you you, you, you kind of have a rough idea on what the average price and what the average miles is for that particular car in that particular um, range you have a really rough idea on how much every single additional mile depreciates the vehicle so for example if you have a um a depreciation rate let me just see what the depreciation rate in this one is uh does it say let's say the depreciation rate for one mile is a dollar just to make it just let's let's call it 10 cents right so for every single mile that you drive your car is going to be worth 10 cents less so if you have a car that is exactly the same 2022 2022 one is $40,000, one is uh, 40,000 miles, another one has 50,000 miles, that 10,000 miles times say the 10 cents is gonna equal a number that in all fairness, that should be the difference between those two vehicles because of that mileage, because it's been depreciated because, because of wear and use. What I then do is I then um, once I've worked all of that out, I then figure out, I then ask ChatGPT to tell me or AI or whatever AI system you want to use to let me know which of these vehicles has the, the best value as in the best price and the best mileage. And I actually, if I go into DeepSeek, which is another one that I used as well and I was, I was doing this yesterday, um, if I look here, it will then show me, especially if I input that table in from, from Gemini, it will then show me the best value car based on my searches. So in this example here, it tells me here that the best value, the best balance new listing is this 2020, 21,100 pound Tesla. It says Model 3, but they're all Model Ys. It's a really strong contender. It's got 44,000 miles. And um, yeah, it's the best car in that price point. The best newly listed value is this $20,000 $20, car. So it's about $200 less. It's got 10,000 more miles. So not particularly great. It makes me think that this one here is probably much better value. And what I then do is I then take it into this calculator, PCP calculator, which I've put a link down below that you can download. And I then um, put it into this sheet here, which effectively, very, very simple calculator. It just basically uh, accounts your, um, the cost of the car, the deposit, the dealer contribution, the loan value, optional um, final payment, also then looks at interest rates as well. So actually I didn't add that in this one. So in this one, adding interest rates, or say 7%, and that's what 
that the value of that car is, is, is going to be 169 uh, pounds. Now, that's looking at the 20,900 900 vehicle. Now, if we look, let's say we're going to drive this car for three years. It's at 44,000 miles right now. And we're going to drive it for about three years. And we're going to put about 5,000 miles a year on the car. So at the end of three years, it's going to have about 60,000 miles. It's going to be about 14,000 miles less than the average car that um, would be in that range. And these cars are worth 18,216. Now, if we go back and actually work out what the rate of depreciation is, so the depreciation rate per mile is £1.33. So if I go into a calculator and I add in £1.33 and I times that by 14,000, that's going to tell me that that car in with you know realistically your it should be worth 181862 more than the average version of this car which is selling for 8 uh 18216 now if you add that together and again this is all theory, it's not going to add up exactly, but 18216, that should, that car should sell for £20,078 in three years after you buy it. So realistically, you're probably losing about £800 or so on that vehicle based upon the fact that you bought it at a very, very good value. So... If you then add that into the calculator, so instead of that car being worth the average, roughly, of what that car sells for, you add it into the calculator. What was that number again? 078. That then gives you a final number of 136 pounds and 81 pence and if you compare that to what it would actually cost you to lease a Tesla Model Y let me see here it actually cost you roughly around 349 pounds so it allows you to save 349 minus 136 equals allows you to save 213 pounds in your Tesla Model Y lease I hope this video has been super helpful. Share it with a friend that's going to buy a car right now. Um, I'm sure they're going to thank you for it. Hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.